hi you guys. So since I'm a bit of an eager beaver for Halloween this year, I thought that I would upload my first Halloween look now. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. First I'm just going to go in with my base and I wanted to go in with quite a light shade. I went with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 4 uh, instead of like a white paint because I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling that. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Techniques uh, complexion sponge. And then to lighten up the face even more, I went in with a really light concealer. This is my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I just really wanted to brighten up all the high points of my face. So as per usual, just put it under the eyes, uh, on the forehead, Cupid's bow and on your chin. And then again of course go in with that sponge and blend all of that out because we want to look nice and blended and even. No harsh lines please, it's nasty. Now in this look, I do not want anything running down my face and I do not want to look oily, so make sure that you set that. And I'm just going in with my Soap & Glory Instant Retouch Powder, which is just the best. You guys need to try it. Leaves your skin looking super flawless. And then I'm going in the, with a big fluffy brush and just setting the rest of my face because you do not want your powders just to stick to your face because then it will look patchy and uneven. Now to start outlining my kind of cartoon bat mask, I'm just going in with a white um, eye pencil. This one I'm pretty sure is from NYX. It's super cheap but I just think going in with a white uh, eyeliner first to map everything out is so much easier because if you do make a mistake like I am right now, you can just wipe it away easily and then go back in. I'm starting with the ears portion between, well just above my eyebrows and then I will take the wings out to the side of my head, just like that. And then you want to bring it down and connect everything. If you just take it slow and map everything out, it makes your job so much easier later on. Then I'm just going to go over that with a black pencil. I'm pretty sure this one's all also from NYX, but I'm not quite sure. But you want to try and be a bit more precise with this because obviously you're using a much darker colour and you can just go over the lines that you've already created. Don't worry though because it's not the end of the world if you do mess up because later on we are going to be shading inwards and um, we can clean up afterwards with foundation as well. So don't stress, it's all good. And I'm just outlining the rest of it with some liquid liner because I wanted it to be a little bit more precise on the outside since we are, you know, shading inwards. Plus, you know, I just wanted to deepen up the colour a little bit because the, the black eye pencil was coming out kind of grey at this point. tedious work people but it's worth it I promise bear with it it will come together and then I'm just taking a little pencil brush this one's from Mac and I'm just kind of trying to blend the edges of the liquid liner while it's still kind of drying just do this all the way and make sure that you're you're blending inwards rather than out just trying to soften the line a little bit and then we'll go in a little bit later with some black eyeshadow. It's 
So now we're going to use a little bit of black eyeshadow. I'm using the Artist Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going in with the shade Coal. Just a little bit on the end of the pencil brush and then blending underneath all of our lines. As you can see this makes such a difference and obviously you know we'll go in later with a fluffier brush and blend it even more. Just take your time, do little bits at a time. Don't use too much product at first, you can just build it up as you go along. And I'm pretty sure throughout the look, like various times I just went back and added more if I you know, thought it needed it. Even after I'd done my eyes and stuff like that or at the end, if you think it needs a little bit more, just, just add it. And then I'm taking this other MAC brush, it's just a little bit fluffier, and um, blending all of the harsh lines. You just you only need a really light touch with this, otherwise you're going to move the product too much. You don't want to lose too much of that pigment. Those brows looking kind of sharp though. I'm kind of liking that. And then as you can see I'm going back with the eyeshadow again just to like deepen it up. It's like it's a bit of a tedious process but it's honestly not that hard and af like after you're done it looks like you put so much effort into it. I can't lie, I was kind of impressed how this turned out, like I really had this little idea in my mind and then just kind of went with it and it seemed to work out. And here you see me just taking a, a little flat brush and some of my foundation and just kind of cleaning up the edges, making everything look as sharp as possible. This is like a great way, if you don't have the steadiest hand in the world, and at times I don't, then you can just go and clean it up afterwards and it looks like you've got a perfectly straight line. I do this underneath my brows as well. It just gives such a nice clean and precise look. It's just so worth it and it takes like two seconds. Well, I mean, this one doesn't take two seconds, but the brows do. And now it's time to start on the eyes, and I decided to go with like a smoky eye for this. So I'm first taking my natural matte palette from Too Faced and the shade Strapless, and just taking that into the crease. Using a transition colour like this just makes it so much easier, especially when you're blending in, you know, dark colours, you don't want it to look patchy or anything like that. Now I'm taking the shade Risqué and just running that into the lower crease as well. This will just give it a nice gradient effect. Now taking a flat brush, I'm just going to pack on some of that coal colour onto my lid from the Anastasia palette. You don't want to take that black too far up to begin with, just pack a little bit on to the lid and then use the fluffy brush just to blend it out. I took some of that risque shade again on the fluffy brush when I was blending out the black just because it made my job so much easier. And then I'm just packing more on because I lost some of the pigment when I was blending and to be honest you just go back and forth like this. Um, it does take a little while but the more you blend you know the nicer it's going to look. Then I'm just taking some of that black coal shade on the lower lash line with the MAC pencil brush. Oh my god I can't speak. And then this is another MAC brush, um, a little fluffy one, and I've just taken some of that strapless shade and gone underneath because you kind of want a nice gradient effect underneath the eye as well, similar to how we have it on top. Then just a little liquid liner, just because we're going to put our lashes on. And then I'm just going to take that black eye pencil and tight line the top inner rim and the bottom as well. We want that kind of nice sultry smoky look. And I'm just, you know, further blending all of the shades on our face just to make sure it looks as good as possible. And then a quick coat of mascara to prep for the lashes. And then at this point I felt like the eyes just needed a little extra pop so I just put some of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy. And then the lashes that I went in with are the House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes and they're just so fluffy and beautiful. 
I just kind of like pop those on. Wait for it, make sure that the uh, glue is tacky before you put them on and then they're so easy. You literally just pop them on straight on top and then I get like tweezers just to make sure that the inner corner is stuck on properly. And then you can't forget to coat the bottom lashes as well. And then I just decided to go in with the glitter a little bit more because why not? So I just stuck some of that on the inner corner just for a little pop. Then to contour, I just went in with this MAC little angle brush and the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I decided to go with the grayest tone shade since I was looking a little bit paler. Um, I think the shade is called Sombra and I just kind of put that in the hollows of my cheeks and on my forehead. And I tried to kind of exaggerate the hollows of my cheeks a little bit more since we're trying to look a little bit creepy. And obviously you can't forget the jawline. We still don't want to double chin, you know. I'm just taking my sweet time with this, obviously. <laughs> And then for the really fun part is the uh, ombre lips that I did. So I actually just went in with my black eyeliner. I just made sure, you know, to sharpen it so that we get a nice point to line our lips with. And literally all I did was just line my lips and kind of fill them in a little bit, avoiding the middle of my lip to make room for the liquid lipstick. And then I went in with Anastasia Beverly Hills American Doll Liquid Lipstick. It's just the most perfect red and I just popped that in the middle and kind of like tapped it out with my hands afterwards just to make sure that it's nice and blended and it has that kind of ombre effect. And then just for a little bit, you know, just to be a bit extra, I went in and tried to like contour my neck a little bit just to exaggerate the hollows, make myself look a bit skinnier, you know, because who doesn't want that? And then of course you can't forget about kind of highlighting since we just contoured. So I actually go in with my Moonstone, um, no, not Moonstone, it's Opal. I go in with my Opal highlight from Becca and I just kind of do a little bit on my collarbones and a little bit on my face, just a tiny bit. I don't do like my cheekbones or anything like that, just like the tip of my nose, my forehead, you know, all of that jazz. And then that is the look guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon. Bye.